Let's talk about vitamin D deficiency. A lot of people don't realize that vitamin D deficiency is as serious as it is, or more serious than you know than they think it is. Um, it's very easy to just think vitamin D deficiency is just you know a minor nutritional deficiency or a minor deficiency in something that the body would normally you know require for a healthy living. Vitamin D deficiency can make your life miserable far more miserable than you actually uh, think. Vitamin D deficiency causes fatigue. So if you notice that you wake up in the morning, you're extremely tired. It could be vitamin D deficiency. Obviously, there are so many, um, you know, there are numerous causes of tiredness or fatigue, but vitamin D deficiency is one. Vitamin D is very important. You know, it's necessary for bone health, uh, for strength, for strong bones, strong teeth, uh, so which means if you're lacking vitamin D, you're more prone to having weak bones, bone aches, and even what we call osteomalacia, which is softening off your bones. Obviously, if it's happening in children, then they could have deformed bones, uh, bow legs, K legs, uh, what we call rickets, and they could have some, you know, um, enlarged, funny or enlargements of their skulls, busting of the head, and things like that. Vitamin D is very important for a healthy immune system. So if you're vitamin D deficient, you become more prone to having, you know, lots of infections, um, sinusitis, chest infection, throat infections, and just um, other things. So impaired wound healing, vitamin D, vitamin C, you know, lots of these vitamins, zinc, minerals are important for wound healing. So if you're vitamin D deficient, you could have slower or impaired, uh, you know, wound healing muzzle cramps so if you're someone who suffers from lots of cramps it could be that you know you're having troubles with electrolytes with potassium balance calcium balance or vitamin d deficiency because vitamin d deficiency will lead to a problem with your calcium balance you know vitamin d plays a role in calcium phosphate balance in the body depression anxiety mental health challenges can be uh, associated you know some studies have found that the vitamin d deficiency leads to depressed mood so if you wake up in the morning you just find yourself being sluggish lacking interest in things uh, having suicidal thoughts or dark thoughts it's possible you might actually be vitamin d deficient now let's talk about vitamin d deficiency as it relates to skin color skin tone melanin now, melanin is this pigment that is responsible for, you know, the, the complexion, you know, of the skin. So, for myself, I'm dark-skinned, you can see, which means um, uh, my skin uh, has a lot of melanin pigment. Obviously, melanin will reduce the risk of me having skin cancers. But on the flip side, it will increase the risk of me having vitamin D deficiency. Let's talk about how vitamin D is produced. So, we understand how melanin or dark skin increases your risk of having vitamin D deficiency. Now, vitamin D is produced, first of all, in the skin. So the skin traps, you know, the ultraviolet type B. So the, the B component of the UV rays from the sunlight, you know, gets into our skin and then it converts a cholesterol, a 7-dehydro, 7-dehydro cholesterol to the pre-vitamin D3. Okay, it, it initiates that process and then eventually vitamin D, the pre-vitamin D3 gets to your liver for what we call hydroxylation, 25-hydroxy uh, vitamin, vitamin D. And then from there, it gets to the kidney and then it becomes 1-25-dihydroxy uh, vitamin D, which is the D3, the active form of vitamin D. So it starts in the skin from cholesterol to the pre-vitamin D and that process is triggered by sunlight absorption of ultraviolet b from the sun from the sunlight now what happens in dark skins is that melanin which is found at the lower part of this epidermis of the skin what we call the stratum basale produced by the other stratum basale by melanocytes then moves to the most superficial parts of the skin the keratinocytes so you have melanin absorbing this ultraviolet b preventing it from going to the stratum basale, you know, the lower part of the epidermis where um, that vitamin D, vitamin D production process begins. So the darker you are, the more melanin you have. Because the melanin holds onto this ultraviolet B, 
it doesn't really penetrate deeply into the skin to initiate the process of vitamin D production. So you become more predisposed to having vitamin D deficiency the darker you are. Now, something that then happens, I just want to so we understand you know more broadly about how this sunlight exposure or non-exposure affects our health. Now, in Africa, I come from Nigeria, so what it's a very hot climate, you know, lots of sunlight. But then one thing I also observe is that because it's very hot and because many of us are dark skinned, but from the sunlight, in addition to the UVB, there's also infrared radiation from the sunlight and infrared radiation is what causes heat. So what happens is that our melanin also absorbs the infrared and that infrared obviously is converted into thermal energy. So it produces heat, which means the darker you are, when you stand in the sun, you find out that you're, you're more likely to have heat intolerance compared to someone who is lighter skinned. So you're dark skinned, you stand in the sun, the infrared is converted to thermal energy or heat energy. You feel very uncomfortable, you run away from the sun. Then what that means is that you're now less exposed to the ultraviolet B from the same sunlight and you produce less vitamin D. Now, if you look, you find out that most white people enjoy the sun. You know, whenever it's, whenever it's summertime, they really want the sun. Uh, you as a dark-skinned person, melanated person, you then find out that you wonder why they are so fascinated by the sun because you try to avoid the sun. It's because you're more likely to absorb the infrared and then you're more likely to have heat intolerance from the sunlight than a lighter-skinned person. Which And then, obviously, that can worsen your, your chances of being vitamin D deficient. The important thing is that I want you to be aware that vitamin D deficiency could potentially be very serious. It could make your life miserable. And a common thing to do is obviously to check your vitamin D levels uh, by going to a laboratory or speaking with your doctor to order such a test. Or you could just take the supplemental dose of vitamin D3 so about 400 to 800 units every day, um, you know, depending on how dark, if you're darker skin, I would say probably 800 units a day. If you're lighter skin, you know, 400 units a day. Maintenance dose. Um, obviously, if you think you're having some of these symptoms, you can get a blood test. And if you confirm that you're vitamin D deficient, then at that point, you might need to be given a much higher dose for, for a few weeks before your steps down to... A maintenance dose which is which is the 400 to 800 units i hope this video has been helpful um and i will enjoy you share it like subscribe and share thank you